Right, hello and welcome everybody back to my flight sim fan video. Uh, today I'm reviewing actually a piece of hardware I got, uh, the uh, Thrustmaster Boeing TCA yoke. It's modeled after the uh, 787. Just to be quickly touching on it um, from an airline pilot's perspective and uh, who does use the yoke. Clearly I'd like to say that the pendulum feel does feel pretty good actually. I like that a lot. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit more force to move but I do understand that it is just for, you know, flights and holiday, so it doesn't need to be crazy. I did, however, install the secondary spring. That comes with the pack. You just unscrew that screw with the Allen key they give, unscrew that screw, take the panel off, add your string to one side and to the other, and then close the panel up, screw it back. And there's a video, I think, online about it, but it's really easy to install. It comes with it, uh, with the pack. So just sitting with it in front, you'll notice this part comes out quite a lot um, from, sorry about the other side, but from the yoke, and that's because of the pendulum aspect of it. So if sitting with it, if your rudder pedals are far like mine, you kind of get in the situation where it gets quite snuggly in an area that you don't want. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll be getting new rudder pedals and I'll be actually uh, making a new video on that, sorry about the cables, and uh, be moving those forward a little bit. But just from the feel-wise of it, I'll get in the airplane shortly, uh, it feels really nice. Uh, obviously, most yokes don't have an aileron trim on that. It's bound to that by default. I think there's an aileron, there's a rudder, but it just gives you more buttons. I demap those. Um, so I have it set up in a first officer setup throttle on the left piano chair great mounting system and uh i'm in this by default will look around it's like a little xbox hat however i've mapped this to nose up trim nose down trim works really well i've remapped that to autopilot disconnect and uh basically i haven't touched this but this is by default uh, elevator trim, it does some, I think these are individual. This is elevator trim, this does something else. I forget what it's mapped to originally. I, I demapped all of it. And then uh, this one's not a hat, but it's more of a click, let go, and it kind of snaps back to center. So I have that set to what its default is, which is just views that it does. And again, that's autopilot disconnect in case you want to set the throttle on the other side. Comes with a gear handle and if I were to nitpick, I'd like it to be a pull, but whatever, that's, that's that. It also comes with two little axes here, and I've been playing with these to map these to, uh, I map this one to prop and this one to mixture. They're very sensitive, so I have to play with the sensitivity in the settings to make minor adjustments to that. But yeah, just as a feel thing, you can really muscle it around it's constant between the uh, movements. Though that's the one thing that I did not like and that's why I did not purchase the honeycomb yoke is because the roll is super loose and the pitch is ridiculously stiff. And I don't know what physic that is going, uh, no airplane flies like that. So it should be consistently the same pressure. So yeah, we'll get in the sim and uh, we'll show you that. It actually, last thing, it does come with an iPad holder. So, if you were to put your iPad here, I know it's upside down, but you can look at your charts and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so it's pretty sweet. And I'll jump in the sim now. All right, sorry for the production value, but uh, we're now in the uh, sim. I just picked the RJ out of uh, Toronto. Just made it a nice clear day. And uh, yeah, I'll try my best to record and fly at the same time. Uh, I'm not an editor, so I can't do all the fancy stuff. But anyways, take the parking brake off. And I wonder if I can actually use the iPad stand. No, it doesn't work, does it? Right. There we go. Just for the takeoff part, and I'll show you the yoke in a second, just to set my throttle, and I'll pick the camera back up. Some messages, okay. All right, so thrust is set. Hoping you can see. Both hands would be on the yoke, but I can't do that. So with the hand and my and my on my phone. Now your knots checked. Alright, 
V1 rotate. So you can see just a nice hold that pressure in. Your pin comes off the ground. And then for gear, you can simply just come here and right, grab the gear up. I'll grab my speed mode and heading mode. But just looking at the movement of the yoke, hopefully you can see, obviously the faster I roll it, or the more I roll it, the faster the aircraft rolls, just like a regular airplane. But it's very controllable. It feels really good in the hand. Uh, hand flying is actually a lot more fun. I used to use uh, the verbal stick, which is still great, and it's mainly for DCS, but um, it just feels nice to have a nice hold, solid yoke in your hand. So, especially when you start doing, if you're doing GA stuff and you got the feet with the, uh, for side slip for drift correction, you got like left rudder in, and then you got right yoke, you can really, obviously you shouldn't be doing this in the CRJ, but you can really control the uh, crosswind correction in those GA aircraft a lot better, even in the CRJ when you're doing the crab method. So hopefully that helps uh, your purchase. Um, give it a thumbs up. Worth the price. Again, um, the good things, I'll just pause this in. Gear handle's a nice touch. Uh, I like the amount of buttons, there are tons of buttons. And down here, and I forgot to mention, you got three here, which are pre-mapped as well, plus an Xbox button, which I don't know if that actually does anything. I could probably map it. Uh, I wish there was a clipboard here, like a real yoke has, like the RJ or the Triple Seven. They all have clipboards there. I wish it was a bit more forceful. It's it's really close. It's just a little bit more. And once you put the spring in for the pitch, it doesn't do a spring for the aileron. So if they can make it all consistent, it's really close. But I'm just nitpicking at this point. The good things: it's a pendulum feeling yoke, right? So you got the full motion. It's a nice, I usually have like pretty big hands, so it's a nice feel in the yoke. Everything is accessible. And uh, yeah, so that's my thoughts on that. Hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next video.